Hey guys. Well, I'm going to try to get through all your questions today, but I'm so sorry if I don't. It's great to see Peter here. It was fun because I went to your channel and watched your videos and I was like, oh, he looks so exciting. So I'm glad you're here and I'm so jealous of the fact that you're uh, you're living in New York because it's, it's just like one of my top list of places that I have to visit. Now, I did have a question for you. You said you loved Grey's Anatomy and oh my god, I'm obsessed with Grey's Anatomy. Who is your favourite character? I'll let you guess mine. I think it's pretty obvious. She's the hottest girl on the show, but, you know, try and guess. And I loved your hats, too, because I have an obsession with hats and shoes. Hats and shoes. They're my big things. What is my coming out story? Well, I was engaged very young to a guy, and I was probably about 18. And I just sort of came into our lounge one day, and I sat down, and I said to him, I think I'm gay. And he said, no shit. And um, and I said to him, well, will you come with me to tell my parents? Because I was very nervous about telling my parents. And so he said that he would. So I decided my dad was going to be the one I was going to tell first, because my mum was very, like growing up, I always said to her, you know, like, what would you do if I was gay? And she was like, well, I would, you know, I would do what I'd do if you were sick with anything else. I'd send you to, you know, somewhere to get fixed. So I was very nervous about telling my mom. So I, I invited my dad over and I started crying and, you know, but he was okay with it. You know, he was like, well, as long as you're happy and healthy, that's all I can ask for. And uh, my mom, I told her and she sort of like, I think she took a little bit to process it. Because, um, like she said to me later on, she was like, she really had trouble knowing everything she said to me. You know, she's like, because when I was younger, I used to self-harm and I had had a sequence of suicide attempts at this point. And she was just kind of like, God, you know, I hope the things I said to you growing up didn't affect the way you felt about yourself, you know, because she she just, she got very upset knowing that there I was, knowing that I was one of these people that my mum hated. So now she's come around and she's brilliant. I love it a bit, but it, yeah, there was, there was a big period there where I think she felt very guilty for everything she'd said to me because it just sort of all went rushing back through her mind. And she was like, God, you know, I was saying all that about her. And it was it was hard for her to stomach when she knows about her daughter. Moving on to a happier note. Um, what else is there? Oh, God, I loved your end credits. I do not have that much talent in video editing. I wish I did. I, I wish I did, but I don't. But it's fabulous. Fabulous. Love it. Uh... T asked about sexuality affecting our body image. Now, I think for lesbians it's very different to gay guys because, if anything, we get it easier because when I was dating men, I was, you know, I was very conscious of my weight and the way I looked and the way I dressed. And being a lesbian, you know, you have a lot more free reign, I think. You know, women tend to just like me for who I am and I don't, you know, I haven't had any problems as far as the way I look and I felt much better about the way I look since I came out and entered the community because I really haven't had a shortage of interest. Does that sound really cocky? I don't know. I haven't had a shortage of girls so it's never worried me. I don't I don't spend a lot of time thinking about the way I look. I sort of I just look the way I look and and that's it. That's just me. And you take it or leave it, really. Oh, I love that you're a gamer, too. I've never done tabletop gaming, personally. I mean, maybe I should try it. Then I'd probably get obsessed like I am with WoW. Um, defined by my gayness. Yeah, I think my life would be very different. You know, I... I mean, I, for starters, I studied gender and sexuality. I wouldn't have done that if I was straight. If I was straight, you know, you have to understand, I would be probably a Mormon wife because my family was Mormon and the only real reason that I drifted so far away from it was because of my sexuality. So 
I would probably be married and be some obedient housewife with no real opinion, no career, probably a bunch of kids. It, it would be a very different universe for me. So I feel like for me, my gayness totally defines the way my life is lived. I mean, the way I do things, the places I go, the things I'm passionate about, the things I enjoy, the people I know, all somehow relate to my sexuality. So yeah, for me, it's a very big part of who I am. It's not the only thing, I'm a lot of other things as well, but for me, it's probably one of the top things, you know, that I identify myself as because I'm very proud. And I think it's, you know, the people before us have paved the way in such a way, you know, a lot of them have paved with their life to, to get us the freedoms we have now. I mean, I'm so lucky. I live in a country where I have all my rights and I'm treated totally equally and it's, it's awesome that we've got there but there's still such a long way to go and I feel like we need to continue to have pride and we need to continue to to put it up there on our list until everyone on the planet has equal rights you know until there's nowhere with it as a death penalty crime until everyone has gay marriage or you know equal equal access and rights it's it's sort of like for me that's where I stand personally so much love to anyone who feels different, but that's that's just me. Benji, girls definitely made MMA seem hotter. Boy, did they make MMA seem hotter. I wish they were butch, though. Because, I see, I personally really like butch women, which is funny, because if you look at my website or something, you'll be like, what? Her wife is really girly. And she is. But I normally go for very butch women. Like, the butcher, the better is usually my phrase. So... I don't know. What are you guys into? That's a good question. See, I'm into butch women. What about you guys? What sort of guys are you into? When you said I'm not that type of fag, I cracked up. That was the funniest thing I've ever heard. Because see, I, I sort of just, my gay guy friends I suppose are very versatile. They, they just know all the things that I don't know, which is most of those girly things. And I have a shoe obsession, so, you know, we kind of balance out there, I guess. But it cracks me up when you're like, I'm just not that sort of, not that sort of gay guy. I was like, I didn't realise there were types. Shows what I know. Ryan asked if by straight gay was too narrow. Short answer? Yes. We have expanded it now, so there are a plethora of of different identities you can label yourself with and I think labels are good and bad and, and here's why I think they're bad because it, it you never have enough labels for people because I think we all are slightly different gays you know like I mean if you think about it it's like everyone um, acts or performs their sexuality differently you know, for some people it's very straightforward, for some people it's very complex. So I don't think you could ever have enough labels for people. The pro of labels is it's what enabled us to have a gay community. We wouldn't have the GLBT community if we didn't have the labels for GLBT. So we needed those labels in order to sort of segregate ourselves off and create this community where we could all feel at home and all feel embraced. Now, I agree that, you know, it's it's good for us to just become a normal part of society. But it's it's also important for us to have our own little community, I think, because it's, you know, people are coming out every day. And even though for me now, it's like I can't imagine it being hard coming out. I'm like, God, just come out, you know, like, it's not a big deal. But back then, it was very scary. And for those people, they need that community to immerse themselves in, to dig through and find out who they are. So I'm going to cut it short and try and keep it accurate and concise and everything, but that's sort of how I feel about that topic. It's like labels are bad, everyone's right, but they're also necessary for some things, you know, because we're all individuals. Anyway, until next week, guys, mwah, love you all. Bye.